Hey guys, it's Danny. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the Gongora orchid that I have. Um, didn't talk too much about it, but this orchid actually has done beautifully for me. This is my second purchase. Because the first purchase was just awful, I potted it in the Orchid Focus Media, which contained that horrible coconut husk and all of that. Anyway, I lost my first Gongora and I thought I couldn't grow them, but the second one does beautifully. So here we go, this is the orchid, as you can see the newest pseudobulbs are quite quite large in comparison to the older ones, however, I just discovered a flower spike on this orchid and I wanted to show it to you. Do you see it? It's right there. The problem is, it's slightly ingrown. It was growing inside the pot but luckily it found a little bit of a way out. However, I did not know that Gongoras do this. I know they are related to stanhopias, which usually create flower spikes inside the pot. That's why it's best to actually grow them in net pots or actually baskets. However, the gangora is not supposed to do that necessarily, but there you go, it can happen. So if you have a gongora, maybe make sure that it's potted quite on top of the media. Let me zoom out. So make sure it's potted a little bit upper uh, in a way, or if you have a gongora, better use a basket. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna grow this one in the future. I might go for a basket for this one. Although if I'm gonna use ceramis, hmm, I don't think flower spikes can actually go through ceramis. So maybe I'll just make sure that it's way on top of the media and yeah, pretty much make sure that I don't lose flower spikes. Now the sad thing is that I'm not sure if we're gonna see this flower spike bloom because I'm pretty sure that she will catch the transport with the spike and the buds. I don't know how fast they actually bloom and also the blooms don't last long at all. They just last for a few days or so on Gongoras from what I hear. I never really actually saw one in bloom in real life. But I really, really hope we get to see some blooms. I get to film some blooms. Really excited. But yeah, there you go. You need to be a little bit careful with it. You might have surprises. I dug it out a little bit. But I have another new pseudobulb on the other side there. I'm pretty sure I was not in frame all this video. But anyway. Um, so I'm just gonna dig it up really well right now and see if I discover any more flower spikes. Because Gongoras can actually produce multiple flower spikes from one pseudobulb. There might actually be more. So a little warning to you guys if you have Gongoras, just um, yeah, look for the flower spikes when you have a pseudobulb matured. It might grow inside if um, the pseudobulb is slightly leaning, perhaps, like mine does. But I'm happy it's a sign that my orchid is doing fine. She does present some signs of dehydration from her early days in my care when I repotted it and when she switched environment, but that's okay. She's gonna look much better in the future, most probably. Now, somebody actually asked me to tell you where I purchase my orchids whenever I feature one and how much I paid for it, just so you have an idea of the prices, because every store will have a different price, obviously, but I'm just gonna tell you as an idea, maybe it will help you. So I purchased it at Schwerter. At the moment that I purchased it, it was on a major discount, and it cost me five euros for this entire plant, which is a fabulous price. I'm not sure exactly if they still have it. I'll link you to Schwerter below if you're interested, if you're from Europe, because they do not deliver anywhere else except Europe. So this is where I purchased it. Check it out if you like. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting. If you'd like to see more orchid videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a regular basis. Also, feel free to leave me questions, suggestions, or whatever ideas about orchids you might want to share with me in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidnature.com, where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets, and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye!